it's like a Cinderella story, everybody says, but it's just incredible. Like, it's such a great feeling. It's, I still don't even believe it's real. We thought about this all season and I knew we could get there, but it was so unreal and like unbelievable that all of our hard work really paid off. Last year, we all got along, but there was just no, I think, drive to win. I would say we were more down. It was hard, like, not being as successful as we wanted to be, seeing all the potential that's there, and knowing that we could be that team that we wanted to be, but we weren't pursuing it. It was just very frustrating for a lot of people. Coming in, I knew what our record was last year, 6-24, and 24, and I had my, like, questions with that. I was nervous, but I knew we had a new coach coming in with a new staff and a lot of good freshmen along with still a great amount of girls on the team. Uh, I, I knew there was a lot of work ahead of me, uh, but I also knew there was talent on the floor. And so, you know, in looking at it, I just figured we had to uh, kind of organize that talent a little bit better and we might have a shot at getting this team into the playoffs. There was something there, especially right when we started preseason, you can tell from the gym. The attitudes, the energy, like, you can just tell that we were just a different team. Hosting home is always, it's always a good feeling. And our fans, all of our supporters, you know, being there for them, having them just a few steps away really helped out a lot. I don't even remember the last point I blacked out. I just remember being on the floor in a dog pile with everybody and just, oh, that was the best. That was the highlight of the season. It's something nobody has ever done before in this program. It was over, we did it, but we still have a lot to go. We couldn't live in the past, we had to focus on the future and the next couple games and that that's really all that mattered then. Like that game doesn't matter anymore. We have to focus on the next one if we want to succeed. By winning the conference tournament we had qualified ourselves for, you know, the postseason and it, as an automatic qualifier so there really, there was no it, you know, hesitation in terms of whether or not we we're going to make the tournament. We knew we were in. It was just a matter of seating. So we did have some time to sit and relax. And you know, in the locker room afterwards, we did say, you know, you guys get to enjoy this for a little bit, and then, you know, we'll get on to what we need to get on to. But at no time did we ever have an issue with these guys being ready to play for a game. New Haven, it's different because their gym is bigger than ours. It kind of messes with your serve a little. All the lines just seem different because the gym is bigger. They were ready to play. It was not a team that we had to get ready to play. They had something to prove. They had a chip on their shoulder. No game was too big for them. St. Anselm, we've never seen play before. We were down 2-0 and it was not looking good. We just could not get any offense going. And losing two sets is very hard. Coming back is even harder. Our effort needed to be better than it was. That defined us. When we dug balls, we served tough. That, that was what defined us. And so when we started to do those two things better, we started to play better. It, that provided the energy that we needed to move forward. We turned it around and we came back and we won those three sets. And it's, it shows you really how much we can work together as a team even through a really tough part of the game. We knew we could come back and we did. It's great to be where we were and we were just ready for the next game. We had to come out strong the next day and hope for the best. So the next day, it really it came off the same. Lost the first two sets. And we, we lost a little bit of energy, but then we remind ourselves we've done this two times now throughout the season, so it was possible to do it again. And then third and fourth set, and beginning of the fifth set, we all had our energy back. We've been in this situation multiple times already. We know how to handle ourselves, and it shouldn't change, but sadly we couldn't 
finish it out. We just couldn't get it back. I think we thought if we are down two sets, we can still come back and win. But we really needed to put it in gear the first two sets. You know, we weren't playing great, especially in games one and two. Um, but, you know, partway through game two, we started to play a little bit. So, you know, three and four, we handled them fairly well. And then, you know, in game five, we, we're still playing at a pretty high level. We just made mistakes. And, in, and you don't have room to make those mistakes in a, in a game five. I'm really proud. Uh, I think we fell short a few, a few of the past years, and I'm really proud. But, you know, I always just played my game, had confidence, and I just see it as an extra achievement. I'm excited because I know we are capable of so much more, even that we did this season. Like, those losses that we had, those were easy teams that we could have won. And we just have to remember that when it comes to important games, we have to come together as a team and just always remember what we're capable of. And I'm excited for next season. As probably many of my teammates say, we have a target on our back that it's not going to be easy because um, everyone wants to beat us now. Like, they want to beat Malloy Volleyball, so we just have to prove it to them that we're, we are the best team in the league. You know, unfortunately for us, that ended our season, but, you know, it didn't define our season. You know, our, our season was defined by everything we had done up to that point, and, you know, it was unfortunate that we did pick up a loss, but, you know, we, we had a great season, and, and everybody in that locker room contributed to how we got there.